Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. i got a CCNP switch and T-shoot video practice exam for you. We're going to hit in about 15 seconds called Now What? And we say that a lot in networking and we might just be saying it here as well because even if you think you know the answer to today's question immediately, stick around. I've got a great little mini lab for you including a classic gotcha on live Cisco switches. Today's question, identify the port security defaults for the following. Mode which we learn in our NA studies, one of the first security things we learn. Aging time and type, and the maximum number of secure addresses. I didn't put this on the board, but it would be an excellent idea for you to know a command that would show you all of this information about, say, port FAST01. So if you want to pause the video and think about that for a second, I think that's great. A very quick word. Thank you for putting us over 7,000 video boot camp students on Udemy. We're actually closing in on 8,000. And right now, no tricks, no nothing except pure concentrated knowledge. You can join my Switch video boot camp for $44. All videos are downloadable. It's the best deal I've ever offered on this great course. And you just need to use a coupon code, Bulldog59. And I'll show you how to right here on Udemy very quickly. Click Redeem It. Bulldog 59 is what you type in, hit apply, and your price is $44. You're saving 64% on that course. Be sure to take advantage of that. Let's head back to today's question. And the mode, again, one of the first things we ever learn, right? Uh, the three modes and what the default is, and that's shutdown. And the command I was mentioning is not show port security. Because I put this up here, but I just want to remind you, this can be a helpful command. Uh, but it's not giving us all the information I wanted about that particular one port. So what I would do here is do an interface, FAST01 or whatever interface you want to look at the information at. This is going to give you a lot of great troubleshooting info. And it starts with whether you have port security enabled correctly or not, then whether the port is up or down, whether it's been secured or not. There's our violation mode shutdown. And the aging type and time, the defaults are absolute for aging type uh, and zero minutes, which means that aging has effectively been disabled. Anytime you see zero in any kind of command like that, that's usually what it means is that you're disabling it. And with total, excuse me, with total MAC address is zero, but your maximum MAC addresses to begin with is one. Now here's that little gotcha I wanted to show you. Now, let me ask you a little bonus question. What command would allow me to set that aging time to five minutes. And you know I'm going to give you a little lecture on this. I know some of you know anyway. Let's go to FASTA1. Switch port, port security. And let's see, we've got aging commands here. We'll go with that. And we've got static, time, and type. Now we could change the type, and this is the difference between those two. Absolute is the absolute aging, that's the default. Inactivity though, of course, that's based on the inactivity time period. So that's a good little thing to know there. We've got two options for aging type, but we're looking at time. And it's aging time in minutes. So before we even get to the number, it's telling us what it is. You always want to run iOS help when you've got numeric values involved, always, especially with time, because sometimes it's minutes, sometimes it's seconds, sometimes it's seconds, minutes, hours, and it seems to differ uh, between every command. And you definitely want to check that out because there's a big difference with these commands between five minutes and five seconds. So we would just put a five there, and there we go. So let's verify that, and then I want to show you that little gotcha. Now, we see the aging type has been changed to five minutes. Let's say you do that, and then you realize, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I want to set it back to zero. Okay, so we do a conf T, interface fast 01. Let's just do a up arrow to repeat our commands. And did you notice there's no zero here? Aging time in minutes, enter a value between 1 and 1440. So what would you do? I mean, the default is zero, but this particular iOS version or whatever won't let us do it. What are we going to do about that? We could up arrow to repeat the original command, aging time 5, do a control A to move to the front of that line, and just put no right there. So you're effectively removing the command. 
and when we do a show port security, there it is back at zero minutes. There's always a way to get something done, uh, but that can throw you because I've seen zero. I know in some past Cisco um, command versions, uh, but this one, and I've seen some other people on the net say the same thing. Hey, I ran it and it you know, gave me a choice between one and 1440, but there was no zero option. So if that happens to you, just use the no command to negate whatever's been configured on there and it will go back to the default which is zero. So a lot of info there. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Hope you enjoyed this video bootcamp. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making TBA part of your CCNP success story.